Hello everyone, it's Dragon Planet here, and today we are back again with another playing crazy build. Now, I was going to be playing Phantom Forces today, but I got a comment in my Discord server that I should rebuild my seaplane. And looking back, yes I should, because my seaplane, as a lot of the comments said, looked a lot like Sonic the Hedgehog. And I don't want my seaplane to look like Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're gonna redo it. So let's head back to the base here, and uh, let's let's get something set up. So last time when I built my seaplane, I actually didn't know anything about motor locking, but now I do. So maybe now that the brain is bigger, we can make good things happen. Now, if you're asking me if I have a, a plan going into this one, no. I usually don't have plans when I go into building these. I just kind of eyeball it and kind of hope for the best. There's not a whole lot of thought that goes on in the brain. It's just build thing, make thing look as good as possible, but also functional. And a seaplane is going to be a little bit difficult. I'm thinking I'm making it a little bit too wide, but that's okay. All right, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this overall design right now. I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. I'm, I'm trying it, I'm, I'm looking at it, and it's just... It's not clicking. It's not clicking together right, so I might just scrap it and restart, because this is just, it doesn't, it, it feels more like a helicopter than it does a plane right now, and with all the half wedges I got going on, things just don't feel like they're going together properly, so I might scrap it and start fresh, because I just don't know where I want to go with this. I don't like the design of it. Alright, so I did decide to scrap it. We're going to start anew, and this time we're going to be using full blocks, because... I just want to use full blocks. Uh, it won't be as big, I don't think, or at least we'll see, but I just, I want to get the shape right, I want to get the size right, and I'm just not sure how to go about it just yet. Also, it looks like we got a lot of rockets here. We got the Neptune Escape Rocket, as well as a Lunar Lander, and the Drifting Car from, I think it's Initial D? So we, we got a lot of cool builds going on here in the server today. Okay, so this is kind of more of the shape I was looking for for the front. Uh, still not totally there on how I'm going to put it together, but it is looking better, so I'm, I'm getting some more thoughts going here. Also, we don't talk about the body hanging from the plane, just ignore it. Alright, it's motor lock time. We are just going to start slapping motors together and making things happen because I have run out of room, but I know what I want to do. And I think with a little bit of help from motor locks, I can make all my dreams come true. I've also just realized as I am making this motor lock that there is now no way that I'm going to be having passengers in this thing, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm looking for something like this for my actual glass. I think this does look nice, and I might use it. Now, what was I going to do? I also, there, there was one other thing I wanted to do, I, I need to make the rest of this, and I also kind of need to figure out a way to make this look a little bit better, but we're getting there, and that is the important thing. Okay, so we're so close, I'm just doing the final test on the window, I like it, I don't like how it's sticking out the side, that is not great, um, maybe there's just like a little bit of a touching up I gotta do here. We're definitely getting super close. I think, you know what, hold on. What if I just change this back to uh, the normal material? Because then I obviously won't see the glass. Let me just try this. Will this look? It looks decent, actually. It doesn't look too bad. And then I can just add more glass to the sides, put some stuff here. We might have something here. We might have something really cool. Man, this thing is just going to be an absolute mess of motor locks. There's going to be so, so much motor locking going on here right now. It's a little bit crazy, and it's only for a window piece, so that's kind of the even crazier part. But you know what? It's worth it. I'm all about those good looks. All right. Now we're starting to make things happen. This is starting to look much better. We've actually got some glass going on here. So I think I might cut back a little bit here because I think there's too much going on here. But... If we stop, like, right about where my head is, so I can totally turn my head that way and that way, that should be fine. I can add a roof. 
That'll be good. Finally, things are coming together. This is starting to look really good now. Alright, there we go. So this is what the plane is starting to look like now. We've got some stuff going on. We've actually got a propeller going. Uh, I don't know if this will be able to take us anywhere. Oh, it does take us anywhere. Okay. I thought it would be a little bit too heavy for it to allow me to move, but that's kind of cool. Now we just gotta add everything else. Gotta finish the body, I guess. That's kind of important. Uh, add the tail to the plane. Add the wings. Those are pretty important. And uh, slap on some pontoons. And we got good things happening. And look, the seaplane already wants to go to the water. That is, that is fate right there. That is, you know, this makes actually a pretty half-decent boat, I must say. Okay, there we go. Finally, you do not know how long this took me just to get this little tiny bit of rounding in. Doesn't even feel worth it, but you know what? We'll take it. Alright, so now that we're getting this bad boy rounded up, I can start to really mess with things and get the tail on, get everything sized properly. Get the pontoons on, it is going to look so much better so quickly now that I've got that tiny bit of rounding on. At least, in my head it will, because that was just like mentally blocking me from doing anything else until I fix that. Oh, still so much to do! But I'm getting there, and that's all that matters. Also, there's been this kidnap van slowly circling me like the entire time I've been building. Getting a little bit worried, not gonna lie. Getting a little bit hyped right now because the wings are in the perfect spot exactly where I wanted them. So, I don't want to jinx myself, but things are looking good right now. As long as I don't screw anything else up, we should be fine. Also, if I could not get kidnapped, that would just be a blessing as well. So, <laughs> leave me alone, truck. <laughs> Alright, this is the first peek at the wing design. I'm going to need to make them a lot bigger, obviously. But, uh, liking it so far. Also, I just killed somebody. Sorry about that, uh, yeah, so the wing design right now, I just gotta make them a little bit longer, and we're getting there. It is looking good. Don't jinx myself, don't jinx myself. Keep it looking good, keep it looking good. You can do it, buddy. Getting a lot of work done here, I've just put on the tail at the back. Gotta get the elevators, but we're getting there, and I will, I refuse to get grabbed by these machines. I have been tr like people have been trying to grab me the entire time I've been building, but they will never get me. I am too fast, and I am always I got eagle eyes. I'm keeping an eye out all the time. But yeah, people keep trying to <laughs> trying to snag me on the way by and drive me off the cliff, but nah, not today. Okay, first test with everything that doesn't look right. All right, first test with everything on. Those work. Those will work. Let's power up here and just see if we can actually get into the air. Uh, ignore, ignore the uh, <laughs> the fire coming out of the back. That's fine. Okay, so we are definitely. Where is our weight at? It. Do I need to put more? I might need to put more weight in the front. I think. And I've also got to worry about because we still have the pontoons to add. So there's more weight coming there, but we're getting there slowly. Okay. First pontoon is on, uh, I still gotta attach on the back, but it looks pretty good so far. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna try to motor lock some ballast blocks into it, as well as I wanna lo motor lock landing gear into it. I'm fine, I'm totally fine. Uh, don't know how it's all gonna work, but we're gonna make it happen. Test number two. Promising. I do like the look of that actually. It looks pretty nice on the side there. Don't know if it's gonna function correctly. Gonna throw it on the other side, make sure it works, and then what the heck? Oh, Carl, nice to see ya. Uh, we'll then after I've tested that, we will test it in the water, or after I get it on the other side, we'll test it in the water, make sure it works, and then go from there. Not gonna lie, I feel like kind of an absolute madman right now because I just take a look at all the motor locking going on here little bit scary. There we go! It actually works! That is awesome! That is so exciting! Oh man, I'm so happy about that! Now I will also not lie to you and say that uh, takeoff with this thing off the water, not great. Uh, surprisingly not very good actually. <laughs> it. Oh my god, I think I'm stuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck under a... I'm, I'm stuck under the Neptune escape pod. Oh, the geyser! Yeah, I'm stuck under this thing. I need to, uh, I need to respawn. <laughs> I'm just being drowned by it. Hey, there we go. 
Okay, I've got it. I've got one of the landing gear on. That's perfect. That's actually perfect where it is. So now I just need to get the other landing gear on correctly. And then we should be good to go. But look at like all the cameras I had to use. It's a very messy build, but it is looking cool. Oh my god, finally. Okay. I finally got the wheels on. That took way too long. I completely redid how the ballast system worked. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there was there was some changes there. But I think there were changes for, for the better, because now I actually have landing gear, and when I bring it up, it actually folds in, so everything works fine. Oh my god, that took a while to get that on. Just for two little pieces of landing gear, that took me so long. Oh god. We still gotta do the other side too, and I gotta rework all of that. Oh, you, you guys better like this video. You Like, smash like. Like this video because, oh my god, <laughs> this has taken me a while to rebuild this thing. But it is a labor of love. I cannot wait until this thing is actually finished. I finally managed to attach everything. All the wheels are on. They all work. Let's power this up. We can actually turn everything so everything's cool. Can we lift off? Please let me lift off. We can lift off. Bring up the landing gear. That works lovely. Um, I may need to make this thing a little bit heavier at the front. And I probably will want to throw a couple more rockets in it. But we're moving. Now let me just see if I can just land safely in the water. So let's turn off the engine. Go in for a nice little landing here. I believe it was R to go back up. Okay, good. And then if we turn on the engines... We can- what is happening? Why am I sinking? Okay, I don't know why I'm sinking, but I'm not going to question it right now. And if we just move forward, we can take off. Okay, I think I got this thing to work. I'm going to mess around a little bit with the front so that it's not kind of constantly going up. And maybe I'll throw in an extra rocket engine just to give it some more speed. But that's it. I, I don't I don't need to touch this anymore. I think it's just about perfect. Oh, and uh, if you were curious, here is the utter monstrosity that is the build so far. There's a lot. Okay, I think I've managed to bounce it out probably the best that I could, and it is looking really solid, so I am extremely happy with that. Uh, let's just land in the water here. Now, really, all we gotta do is just give this bad boy a paint job, and we'll be pretty much done. I think... This turned out really well. The only annoying part is that uh, I have to hold R for it to float, or else it just it just kind of sinks, which is not exactly ideal. Also, if I hold F, it just uh, actually does sink. All right, guys, there we go. I think I've completed my seaplane. I I believe they're called seaplanes. I actually don't know the real like logistical term for them, but I'm gonna call it a seaplane, and I believe we are done. It. It looks really good. I think it functions amazingly. I love the fact that it can land on water and on the land. Like, let me just prove it really quick. If I just cut the engines, and we just need to land on the water, we just hold R, and <laughs> that, that wasn't a very good landing, but see, we can land on water, no problem. And then if we just hold R and power up our engine, we can also take off from the water, which is pretty sick, and we can press G, bring out our landing gear, and then not only can we land on water, but we can also land on land. If I make it to the runway, we're not going to make it to the runway. You know what? That's fine. But point proven, we can land on both water and land. Anyways, guys, moral of the story is I am happy that I rebuilt this thing. Thank you for the suggestion. I think it turned out amazing. Um, this is probably easily my most heavily motor locked build I have ever made. And uh, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Especially when it's painted now, you can't really see as many of the uh, motor locks and the other motors that are used to power this thing. So I think that's a good thing, and uh, I'm just really happy with it. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got for this video, so hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye!